exploring the universe, black holes and quantum mysteries, expecting you went through that dull opening, you would appear in another universe. There is a connection between quantum processing and black holes. In this educational video, we investigate a crucial and frightening discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope inside a black hole, explained by none other than Bill Nye, the science guy. A black hole is a star so massive that even light cannot escape due to its immense gravity. The mysteries of black holes have puzzled experts for a long time. However, thanks to astonishing technological advancements, we've observed something truly astonishing, an incredibly massive black hole that consumes an Earth-sized amount of matter daily. The stunning first image of a black hole in space is both mesmerizing and compelling. Prepare yourself as we dive into the intricate details of this endless phenomenon and what it means for our understanding of the universe. The Formation of Black Holes Stars at the end of their life cycle, particularly those much more massive than the sun, run out of fuel and begin to collapse under their own gravity. Black holes are fascinating, however. Detecting the beginning of one was a major challenge. Even though Einstein's theory of relativity predicted their existence, black holes emit no light of their own. Their size and rotation are the only measurable properties we can observe. Visual confirmation of black holes has only recently become possible. For many years, evidence of black holes was lacking. The first black hole, Sagittarius X1, was discovered in 1964, but it took over 30 years for scientists like Stephen Hawking and Kip Thorne to confirm that it was indeed a black hole. Hawking, a prominent figure in black hole research, contributed significantly to the debate over their existence. However, he and Thorne were initially cautious due to the lack of definitive evidence. By 1975, they were almost certain that Sagittarius X1 was a black hole. By 1988, they were 95% sure, but they waited until 1990 for more observations to solidify their claim. The initial discovery of Sagittarius X1 was made using two GE counters sent into space on a suborbital rocket. These detectors pinpointed an X-ray signal from a system 7,200 light-years away, featuring a blue supergiant star orbiting a massive object emitting strong X-rays, a strong indication that it was a black hole. A record-breaking black hole. Extensive research on Sagittarius X, one revealed that it is about 10 times the mass of the Sun, making it the largest stellar mass black hole found without gravitational waves. This discovery challenges long-held ideas about black hole formation and the mass loss that stars experience over their lifetimes. Sagittarius X-1 breaks records in multiple ways, including its remarkable mass and its rapid spin, approaching the speed of light. This contradicts conventional models of black hole formation. Although concrete evidence of black holes has emerged only recently, it is increasingly clear that they are scattered throughout the universe. Even if scientists eventually unravel all the mysteries of Sagittarius X-1, many more black holes still hold countless secrets. For example, astronomers have discovered a dormant giant within our Milky Way, known as Gaia BH3, which is the largest stellar mass black hole in our galaxy. The discovery of Gaia BH3. Gaia BH3, located less than 2,000 light-years from Earth, has a mass approximately 33 times that of the Sun. Despite being the second closest known black hole to Earth, it remained undetected until now. This discovery was made accidentally when scientists from the European Space Agency were analyzing data from the Gaia mission, which maps our galaxy in 3D. Unlike most stellar mass black holes, which actively consume matter from companion stars, Gaia BH3 is dormant, meaning it is not currently siphoning energy or material. This was an unexpected finding as most detected black holes are actively consuming matter. Typically, stellar mass black holes in the Milky Way have a mass a few times that of the Sun, with Sagittarius X-1 holding the previous record at 10 solar masses. However, Gaia BH3, at 33 solar masses, is an anomaly. Even so, it is small compared to supermassive black holes, such as Sagittarius A, SGRA, Asterisk asterisk, the central black hole of our galaxy, which is four million times the mass of the Sun. Supermassive black holes in the early universe. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, scientists have discovered an extremely red and supermassive black hole in the early universe. 
As the universe expanded, this black hole took on a reddish hue due to redshift, indicating a dense layer of gas and dust surrounding it. Lucas P. Fennell and A. V. Bend of the Beenan School of Astronomy determined that this supermassive black hole has a mass of approximately 3 billion solar masses. This discovery is remarkable, as it suggests that the early universe contained extremely massive black holes that rapidly consumed surrounding matter. Located 12.9 billion light-years from Earth, this quasar, a highly energetic black hole, was initially identified by its red appearance. Quasars form when vast amounts of material fall into supermassive black holes, creating an accretion disk of gas and dust. The immense gravity of the black hole heats the surrounding matter, producing extreme temperatures and emitting blindingly bright light. JWST detected this quasar as a small point source due to its intense radiation output. It was originally mistaken for a strange star-forming galaxy, but further analysis confirmed it as a supermassive black hole. The role of gravitational lensing. This discovery was made possible by gravitational lensing, a phenomenon predicted by Einstein in 1915. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, Massive objects warp the fabric of spacetime, creating gravity. The larger the object, the greater the curvature. Gravitational lensing bends light from distant objects, allowing us to see things that would otherwise be invisible. JWST used this effect, supported by a galaxy cluster called SMX J72337327, to magnify the brightness of distant galaxies and reveal the red quasar. This new information adds to the growing body of evidence that the early universe was populated with extremely massive black holes, millions or even billions of times heavier than the Sun. Since similar findings have been observed in other early universe quasars, this discovery sheds light on the formation of both black holes and their host galaxies. The ultimate cosmic mystery. This revelation raises one of the biggest questions in cosmology. Did galaxies form first, or did black holes? This classic chicken or egg dilemma remains unresolved on a cosmic scale. However, ongoing observations and future discoveries will continue to refine our understanding of black hole formation and evolution, shaping the way we perceive the universe itself. Opening Start Things Out How huge were the main faint openings, and how could they advance? Experts may have found verification that microquasars, faint openings drinking companion stars, are tremendous particle gas pedals, producing unexplained high-energy cosmic radiation that hits Earth. These monster faint openings consume material from neighboring, extremely enormous stars in double frameworks, and a portion of the heavenly matter is shot out as relativistic planes moving at unfathomable velocities. Microquasars are smaller versions of quasars, both stimulated by extremely enormous faint openings consuming adjacent matter. In 1912 high-energy particles were observed hitting Earth with energies reaching 1-0 superscript 2 electron volts, significantly more vigorous than particles accelerated in the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful atom smasher. The theory suggests that extremely enormous faint openings and microquasars are the universe's most extreme particle accelerators. However, proof of microquasars accelerating particles to such high energies has only recently been confirmed. Using the High Energy Stereoscopic System, HESS, examiners detected extraordinarily high energy gamma rays from the planes of the most powerful microquasar in the Milky Way, establishing a link between cosmic rays and microquasars. S433. A cosmic particle accelerator. The microquasar SS433 produces high energy gamma rays through its jets, which interact with surrounding matter creating a shock front that accelerates electrons to extreme speeds. These gamma rays are a byproduct of this interaction. SS-433 was the first microquasar ever discovered, located at the center of the W-50 supernova remnant, affectionately called the Manatee Nebula. S-433 has been the subject of extensive study for decades. The system consists of a white giant star and a faint opening, black hole, around 10 to 20 times the mass of the Sun. They orbit each other every 13 Earth days, with the star's outer layers being stripped by the faint opening's gravity. Some of this material forms an accretion disk around the faint opening, while other parts are ejected as jets traveling at 26% of the speed of light. These jets twist in a precessing pattern, 
shaping the W-50 supernova remnant, giving it the appearance of a giant manatee. The jets fade over time but reappear in a repeating pattern, driven by the periodic motion of SS-433. The jets from the faint opening also interact with surrounding matter, creating a complex interplay between the black hole and its environment. This behavior makes SS-433 one of the most fascinating and illuminating objects in the study of microquasars and their role in cosmic particle acceleration. Unraveling the mysteries of faint openings, black holes. Despite SS-433 being the first identified microquasar, much remains unclear about how faint openings accelerate particles to such extreme energies and their broader impact on the universe. Scientists use various methods, including indirect measurements, to understand these giant phenomena. For instance, faint openings can be observed through their interactions with neighboring stars and matter, as evidenced by the dramatic increase in X-ray emissions as material is pulled into their gravitational grasp. This phenomenon is critical in understanding faint openings and their impact on the universe, providing fundamental insights into the evolution and behavior of these enigmatic objects. The most distant known faint opening, a 13.1 billion year old giant. A recent discovery of the most distant known faint opening, 13.1 billion light years away, has further expanded our understanding of these massive entities. This discovery, made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, reveals a supermassive faint opening that formed under a billion years after the Big Bang. This early formation challenges existing theories about faint opening development and galaxy evolution. Observations suggest that these early faint openings may have played a key role in shaping the universe, influencing the formation and development of the earliest galaxies. Beyond their role in galaxy evolution, faint openings have been linked to powerful cosmic phenomena known as active galactic nuclei, AGN. AGNs are characterized by intensely bright emissions from the regions surrounding supermassive faint openings at galaxy centers. This occurs when material from the surrounding accretion disk is heated to extreme temperatures, spiraling inward and emitting X-rays and other radiation. How Faint Openings Shape the Universe Studying AGNs provides crucial insights into the feeding behavior of faint openings and their impact on their host galaxies. Research has shown that AGNs can significantly influence galaxy evolution by regulating star formation, dispersing heavy elements throughout the cosmos. Recent advancements in gravitational wave cosmology have introduced a new way to study the properties of faint openings. The detection of gravitational waves from merging faint openings by observatories like LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, and Virgo has opened a new frontier in understanding these elusive objects. Faint openings and gravitational waves. Faint openings continue to captivate both scientists and the public due to their mysterious and extreme nature. Cutting-edge technologies like the James Webb Space Telescope have provided unprecedented insights, pushing the boundaries of our understanding. One of the most significant recent findings is the discovery of very large faint openings in the early universe which has profound implications for our theories on galaxy and structure formation. These supermassive faint openings, millions to billions of times the sun's mass, may have played a crucial role in shaping the evolution of the cosmos. The fact that some of these black holes existed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang challenges current theories, which suggested they should have taken much longer to form. This discovery indicates that faint openings may have emerged rapidly in the early universe, possibly influencing the formation of the first galaxies and accelerating their growth. Quasar winds and the galactic ecosystem. These early, supermassive faint openings may have interacted with their host galaxies in ways previously unknown. As central objects of active galactic nuclei, AGN, they can generate powerful radiation and high-energy particles, creating quasar winds that impact their surroundings. These winds can Regulate star formation by removing gas and dust. Trigger interstellar material collapse, leading to new star formation in some regions. Halt star formation in others. This feedback cycle is thought to play a vital role in shaping the growth of galaxies. Gravitational lensing. A window into the cosmos. Another fascinating aspect of faint openings is their ability to bend light, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. 
This occurs when a massive object like a faint opening distorts the fabric of space-time around it, altering the path of light. The result? Distant objects that would otherwise be hidden become visible to astronomers. Gravitational lensing has provided valuable opportunities to study. Distant galaxies and quasars. Dark matter. The evolution of faint openings in the early universe. The future of black hole research. In addition to their role in galaxy formation, faint openings are key players in the ongoing study of gravitational waves. These waves, first predicted by Einstein, are produced by the collision of massive objects like faint openings. Gravitational wave detections, especially from binary faint opening mergers, have revolutionized astronomy. They allow scientists to study objects previously invisible through traditional methods. These waves enable researchers to measure the masses and spins of faint openings, understand their orbital dynamics before merging. This deeper understanding helps unravel the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, two of the most enigmatic components of the universe. With every new discovery, our picture of the universe becomes clearer, and our understanding of the most powerful forces in nature deepens.